Budgeting made easy. Do you struggle with budgeting? Is budgeting something you want to do, but you find it hard to do to follow through? Let us share with you four types of budgeting system which you could use. First, envelope system. This is a form of system that was used by many of our great-grandparents. They have different containers. A Milo tin here, a coffee tin there, a tea tin at another place in which money was placed. One tin held money for groceries, another for transportation, another for food, and perhaps another for rainy day. When a purchase was considered, they look into appropriate tin and determine what could or could not be spent based on how much money was in it. The envelope system is based on the same principle. Distribute your monthly income among the label envelopes. Although this method seems simple, it takes discipline for us to implement this. Second system, written record system. You can print out a hard copy budgeting sheet and fill in the amounts that you plan to spend each month by tracking into different categories. For example, you can break down into fixed expenses and discretionary expenses. Fixed expenses such as your insurance, income tax, your mortgage, your loans. Discretionary expenses such as transportation, utilities, food, entertainment. If we do not track specifically, we do not know where did our money go. At the end of the month, we will be able to see if there are any lapses in our spending. We could identify areas that we can improve upon. The third system, electronic system. There are many electronic systems available today to help you maintain your budget. The MoneySense website has several tools you can use. The IFL Institute for Financial Literacy website, which is finlit.sg, also has several spreadsheets that can be downloaded and used to help you manage your budget. In addition, there are many smartphone applications that you can use on your mobile devices to help you track your spending and stay within your budget. The fourth system, banking system. This system typically involves three different bank accounts. One account is for your normal spending. It will be used for your day-to-day -day expenses. Another is your emergency savings account. We should set aside three to six months of our monthly salary, if not our monthly expenses to this account, just in case in an emergency situation, you can use it. Do not withdraw from this account unless it is an emergency situation. Finally, a long-term savings account can be created to save for your long-term savings purposes, such as retirement planning and your children's education. Which budgeting system do you prefer?